Hello friends, welcome to the part 18. In this part, we will look at one question. Remaining questions would be only for members, Cloud Kernel and onwards. So if you want to become a member, please hit the join button below this video and opt for at least Cloud Kernel or you can go higher with Cloud Ninja. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. These are all real certification questions on cloud. This channel is dedicated to help you clear cloud certifications, primarily Azure, AWS, and Google Cloud. So if you look at this question, it is a very simple question. So you have SQS and the data is coming and RDS is your consumer. So what is happening is SQS does not have duplicates, but RDS somehow is getting duplicates. We have to solve this problem. We don't want duplicates in RDS. Whenever you get such problems, thumb rule. Remember, it is always to do with change message visibility API. If you alter this setting, then see primarily what it does is the SQS, there are three steps. The producer will send the message to the queue. There is a producer here and it sends the message to the queue and then consumer reads the message. Okay, it reads. And then after the consumer gets processes the information it tells sqs delete the message from the queue but if the message is not visible then the delete does not happen and next time when the consumer that is rds tries to read the data from this queue it again sees the same data see the data is not duplicate here it is just that before rds can say hey, I read your data, you can delete it. Till that time, the visibility gets timed out. And hence, RDS is getting duplicates here. Got it? So, we, for us, this is the right answer. Always remember, this is always to do with the duplicates. If there are no duplicates in the queue and your consumer has duplicates, it is most likely a problem with change message visibility. See, create queue, create queue will not work because your data is in one queue. What, what will you achieve you, if you create a new queue? It will not work. And then it, that's option B. It's saying that you add permissions. This is not a permission issue. See, because of permission issue, you will not get this uh, duplicate problem. You will get some sort of error that you are not able to read it and so on. But you will never get a problem with duplicates or duplicate data so option b is wrong c says receive call to set appropriate wait wait time see receive messages to receive it's, it's like you retrieve one or more messages from the queue that that is what the consumer does and wait time parameter enables long pole support see if you want to understand short pole and long pole you see this short pole is the default behavior okay and a weighted random set of machines is sampled on the received message call so thus messages on the sampled machines are returned okay and then there is a long pole also so this would be wrong because this will not help you with duplicates this is my final answer let us look at this question. I would not solve it. You, I have uh, analyzed and solved this in the paid members group, Cloud Kernel or Cloud Danger. You can please click the join button and become a member. You can have the solutions for this question and this subsequent question. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to this channel and click the join button below this video to become a member cloud kernel or higher and it will give you access to a good amount of contents which will help you clear cloud certifications remember this channel is dedicated to help you clear cloud certifications around aws azure and google cloud stay tuned for many more such parts